This is the leading story this hour. Retaliating for the killing of its two members, Hamas militants Gaza fired multiple rockets into Israel on Wednesday night. Israeli army responded with massive airstrikes across the besieged Gaza Strip. According to Israeli army, the violence began after Palestinian armed groups fired at an Israeli engineering vehicle and Israeli troops responding with tank fire. On Tuesday, Hamas had vowed to retaliate for the killing of its two operatives in an Israeli tank fire. One Palestinian woman and her daughter have been killed and five others injured in the Israeli attack. While one Israeli was also hurt during the Hamas rocket fire. The latest flare-up comes despite talk from both sides of progress towards a possible truce to avert a fourth war in a decade. A senior member of Hamas that controls Gaza said talks mediated by the United Nations and Egypt calm tensions were in advanced stages. Along with Egypt, Israel maintains a land, sea and air blockade in Gaza that has brought the coastal territory's economy to a state of collapse. Around 2 million people live in Gaza, mainly stateless descendants of Palestinians who fled or were driven out of what is now Israel at its founding in 1948. The tensions between Israel and Gaza are at an all-time high after following weekly protests by Palestinians along Israel-Gaza border. At least 150 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli gunfire since the protests began on March 30th. Israel has been beset by a new wave of flaming balloon and kite attacks from Palestinian protesters. And to bring us more details on this new story, I'm joined in by our associate editor Ramesh Ramachandran on the phone line. Let's quickly go across to Ramesh. Ramesh, the Israel and Hamas tensions are extremely shocking, especially when Egypt is and the UN are trying to advance a truce between Israel and Palestine. Indeed, good morning, Akansha. It's a familiar story happening all over again in that part of the world. But uh, and it's a moot point who started this latest round of violence. But be that as it may, talking specifically about yesterday's, yesterday's incident, Akansha, reports suggest that uh, Hamas uh, fired rockets into southern Israel, to which, as our report mentioned, the Israeli armed forces re retaliated by firing back at the Hamas, uh, the establishments in Gaza. Now, the casualty figures are uh, varying. Some say that at least eight uh, Palestinians may have been killed or hurt uh, in this attack, whereas uh, some other media reports suggested that at least one or two Israeli soldiers may have been hurt in the incident. But as the report suggests, at least one Palestinian woman and her 18-month-old child have been killed, and one Hamas member has also been reportedly killed in these uh, attacks. But as you mentioned, this comes at a time when talks are happening between indirect talks between Hamas and the Israel, uh, Israeli government, on the other hand, mediated by Egypt and the United Nations. So this has come at a very delicate time in these peace talks. It remains right. to be seen whether this talk can be salvaged going forward, especially because Netanyahu has cancelled his trip to Colombia to devote his time and attention to ensuring that the peace talks can materialize going forward. Absolutely, Ramesh. Also important enough to note is that on Tuesday, Hamas had vowed to retaliate for the killing of its two operatives who had been killed uh, during this Israel tank fire. Also, it's, I would request you to establish how, you know, it's, it's been very tough. The tensions between Israel and Gaza are at an all-time high following the weekly protests, uh, which began actually on March 30th. Well, if you look at the contemporary history of uh, Gaza, Akanksha, now Ga Hamas has been controlling Gaza for almost more than a more than a decade now, and in that interim period, at least three conflicts have happened initiated between Hamas and the Israeli forces. So now the fear is that it might the recent tensions might lead to a fourth war between the Hamas militants and the Israeli forces. But that said, this. This present round of violence began in December when the U.S. announced that it will move its embassy hmm. from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. And since then, we've seen the Palestinians, especially those living in Gaza and those members of the Hamas movement, say that they will organize protests, which they did from the 30th of March onwards. So every weekend, 
They would organize protests which turned violent over a period of time. In the last four and a half months, Akanksha, at least 158 Palestinian civilians have been killed in those, uh, in those violent incidents. So things are spiraling out of control. It remains to be seen whether the peace talks can have any material difference on the ground going forward. Absolutely. Completely agree with you, Ramesh, that things have been spiraling out of control. And let's hope that the peace talks actually work out. Thank you so much, Ramesh, for bringing us all those details.